Hello again, minions. It's Wheezy. Today, I'm going to talk to you about five ways that you can have more fun playing Modern Warfare 2. Because I think that's lost in this mix of ranking up fast. So, let's go talk about it. Okay, minions, so let's talk about how you can have more fun playing Modern Warfare 2. And the first tip that I'm going to give is don't treat Modern Warfare 2 like a grind. A big part of what's going through the community right now, understandably at the launch of a game, is how to unlock everything super fast, how to rank up super fast, how to get the best weapons, how to do everything that you can as fast as you can, and people are even calling it out. How to grind camos, how to grind attachments, how to do this, how to do that. How to play a game mode that you don't like so that you can rank up faster to get guns that you're then just going to put away to rank up another gun faster. Don't do that. Don't treat this game like it's a grind, don't treat it like it's a job. Keep in mind that the people you're taking these tips from are people online who play this game for a living, right? And their job, realistically, is to help get that information out to people as quickly as possible so that today or tomorrow, the people who are like, ooh, I want the best weapons right now, they have that information. People who maybe pick up the game in a month or two want to see how to rank up faster, their job is to kind of get to the content as fast as possible, find the weapons that are the best in the game, blah, 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 quote unquote, the best in the game. But this isn't your job, right? Most likely, it's not something you're doing full time to make a job. I make videos for this YouTube channel, and even this isn't my job. This is something I do for fun. So I'm not spending my time, you know, working super hard to get every single little ounce of XP that I can to grind up and unlock things as fast as possible. I'm not playing with the weapons that I think are supposed to be the best in the game. I'm picking weapons that I think I would enjoy playing with, and then playing with them in the game modes that I would enjoy. Which brings me to my second point. Use the guns that you want to use, or use the guns that you like. There's this tendency to run towards, hey, let's find the best weapons out there and then I'll unlock those and get all the attachments that I need for it. That way, I'll do better in the game because I have the better weapons, and that's how it works, right? Not necessarily, and we'll talk to that in a couple of points here in a second, if you're just feeling like you have to play catch-up to try and get the best guns so that you can get these gameplays like you're seeing online, keep in mind that what you're seeing is people's best gameplays, typically from people who spend hours and hours and hours every day playing this game, and in many cases, this is really their full-time job. So, are you ever gonna really play on the same level as someone who spends 10 or 12 hours a day playing this game? No. Could they take off meta weapons and do just as well? Most of the time, yes, right? You aren't going to get better by just getting the meta weapons. Um, there are other things you can do, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. But the more important thing for you to focus on is what guns do you enjoy? Are you someone who likes being sneaky and getting up close and getting a shotgun. I've been having a lot of fun unlocking shotguns because I've been chasing a couple of camos that I really want to unlock, right? So I had to play some shotgun uh, for a while, like with the lock hood and stuff like that. And it was a lot of fun changing up that play style to try and play to the strengths of a shotgun. I was also like enjoying the AKs early on. Instead of grinding the M4 platform, like everyone was early on, oh, the M4 is meta. The meta's gonna shift week to week, right? I was playing with the cast off 762 when everyone was saying the M4 was the meta just because I wanted to play with the AK a little bit more. And I really enjoyed that. And then by the time I got done ranking it up and I moved on to something else, then people were like, oh, the cast off 762 is the meta. And I was moving on to other things, right? Because it doesn't matter. I was just having fun playing with what I wanted to play with. And then the STB556 is like, oh, this is a good laser beam meta. And what you need to take away from that is people are get the people whose job this is to find these meta weapons is are going to go to the ones that they expect to be good first and then they're going to play with them and then learn how to use them well and say this is the best gun in the game and then people are going to play with other weapons and learn how to play with them well and they oh no now this is the best weapon in the game it's going to take a long time 
for anyone to figure out whatever objectively is the best weapon in the game. And by then, things will get updated and patched and nerfed. So your best bet for having fun is just play with what you like, play with what interests you, and just have fun playing the game modes that you want to play to do that instead of trying to maximize how quick you're ranking up. And that brings me to my third point, play the game modes that you enjoy. Don't try and go and play game modes just because you think it'll help you rank up faster. You know, the uh, meta, whatever, for ranking up weapons fast has been like, go play Invasion. And the reality is for a lot of people, they don't really enjoy Invasion. So maybe if you really want to rank up a weapon that you don't enjoy playing with, but maybe you want to go and grind it to rank it up fast, okay, maybe, maybe do that for whatever weapon you want to do that for. But then in general, find the game modes that you enjoy playing and go and play those with the weapons you enjoy. So for me in Modern Warfare 2, and this is different from Call of Duty to Call of Duty, right? In Modern Warfare 2019, it was Kill Confirmed, Team Deathmatch, and Domination that I enjoyed playing the most. So I would go search Quick Play, and those are the only ones that I would filter in, right? In Cold War, Free For All was the only game mode I could really stand, so that's what I kind of played there. In Vanguard, I really didn't play that game much, so I tried some different things, and they were all kind of pretty awful. Although I do remember um, Patrol being one of my favorite ones, where the basically it's kind of like hard point, but the point moves around. I actually enjoyed that one. Um, and in Modern Warfare 2, for me, it's Team Deathmatch, Kill Confirm, Domination, but also hard point. The change that they made for Modern Warfare 2 to hard point, where 10 seconds before the hardpoint switches to the new location, it shows everyone the new location. It took away what I hated about hardpoint before, which is the people who memorized the hardpoint rotations had an advantage because they would, by the time the point switched over, they would already be there. And it was just like, well, shit, if I'm not on a good team, or if I come up against a team who knows how to do that, then I might as well not even bother, right? That doesn't feel like the case in Modern Warfare 2 because of that one little change. And because of that, I actually enjoy Hardpoint a lot. It's one of my favorite game modes in Modern Warfare 2. If you're someone who likes Invasion, or you like Ground War, or you like Free For All, or whatever it is that you enjoy, try those things out and see what you enjoy and play those modes. You'll, trust me, you are going to have a way better quality of life as a human being if you play the game modes that you enjoy with the weapons that you are interested in instead of trying to play the meta, rank up fast, grind it as hard as you can, okay? That's just not gonna be the best way to enjoy your life or this game. The next thing that I'm gonna say is related to what most people refer to as skill-based matchmaking or I've started to refer to as EOMM, which is, I'm gonna do a separate video on this, which is engagement optimized matchmaking. Games for the last several years, since this stupid study came out in basically 2017, have been trying to manipulate win-loss cadence for players because they think that's going to keep them more engaged, which increases their ability to buy microtransactions, blah, blah, blah. We'll do a different video on the details of that. What you need to understand to have more fun in Modern Warfare 2 is that the game is every once in a while going to try and feed you a win or a loss, depending on where you're at in your wins and losses like streaks, right? So if you've had a few good games in a row and had a few wins in a row, the game is gonna put you in a shitty lobby and you're gonna get a loss. Whether it's because your teammates are terrible or whether it's because the enemy team is fucking stacked or both, you will have these games where you will viscerally feel very shortly into the game after three or four minutes that we're losing, my team sucks, the other team's fucking cracked, this isn't fun. Don't be like I was in previous games, right? Fucking leave those games. Because here's the thing, the game is fucking you over. <laughs> it's manipulating you, it's trying to determine the outcome of certain games, right? Some of the games are just a toss up where it puts you in a lobby with people that are about your skill, and that's okay, it's just kind of like push and pull and those are fun. Sometimes it wants to feed you a win and it puts you on a stacked team or up against really crappy people. Enjoy those lobbies because every once in a while it's just gonna feed you a slaughterhouse, right? So enjoy those. When you get put into a lobby where you can tell that you're getting shit on, don't stick it out. Just leave that lobby. As soon as you feel like, this sucks. Like, you just got killed five times in a row. The other team's all set up. You can't do anything. Just leave. Because you don't owe anything to this game. You don't owe anything to the people who got dumped in there with you. Just leave and dump into a new game. Because sometimes this does happen where it's like, hey, you didn't get that L, and it'll dump you into another lobby where it's kind of shit, right? 
in which case dump out again just like quit okay sorry not doing this one either and after one or two times doing that you'll get dumped into a lobby where it'll be pretty even or you'll get one of those good lobbies that you'll get to do well at right so keep that in mind again when you're watching things on youtube or on twitch well maybe not on twitch right if you guys watch my twitch streams you'll get to see the good games and the bad games especially the last few days i've been doing eomm analysis gameplays where i'm just seeing how the game is dropping me into good games and bad games but when you see things on youtube typically you're seeing people's best games right you don't get to see all those times they get put in a game where they're stacked against no matter how good you are this game is going to find bad enough people to put on your team so that it's going to feed you a loss. That's just the way it works. So when you encounter that, quit, find a new match. Your life will be better, trust me. So the last thing that I want to talk about on how you can enjoy Modern Warfare 2 even more, and this applies to shooters in general, is focus on your progress, not on the results. Don't get discouraged because you didn't drop 30 plus kills in a game. Don't even get discouraged because you struggle to go positive on your kill death ratio, right? Focus on what you can do to improve and get better and, and be able to identify weaknesses in places where you're losing fights, for instance. You're going to have a lot more fun with the game if instead of feeling like, oh, I'm not doing as good as this, this great streamer, I'm not doing as good as this player here, or I can't do those really m massive streaks like Wheezy does because he's so amazing. Um, like I said, you guys watch my Twitch streams, you're going to see that it's not always like that, right? Don't measure yourself against other people. Measure yourself against yourself in the last game or yesterday, right? And by doing that, by analyzing, um, this is how it is for me, maybe it isn't the same for you. Analyzing what I do in each encounter, if I feel like I'm losing a fight, what did I do different? What did I do wrong and what can I do differently? If I was using a shotgun and I tried to engage someone who was 20 meters away, maybe don't do that, right? And was I moving through the map in a certain way so that I made it more likely to get an engagement that I was gonna lose with that weapon? And if I'm using a longer range weapon, do I wanna make sure that I'm not moving in such a way that I'm gonna come around the corner and get blasted by someone with a shotgun? Identify where your weaknesses are and work on adapting your gameplay to that. And this feeds back into all my earlier points. That enables you to choose weapons that you like because instead of trying to choose the best weapon and then try to play the way you think the best players play, if they want to run and sprint and jump around and and do leet snipes and quick scoping and stuff like that, if that's your jam, then go ahead and go for it. But if that's like if that's how I have to be good at the game, then I don't want to play it. You don't. Yes, Modern Warfare 2 is a little irritating in how campy it can be at times, but if that's your play style, Pick the guns that fit that play style that you enjoy using. Pick the game modes that you enjoy playing on that, and then play the game your way. One of the cool things that I really love about Modern Warfare 2, as I'm learning more about it and playing it more, yes, people who play campy can be irritating at times, but honestly, there's a lot in the game to help you overcome that. Drill charges, if you haven't seen my drill charge video, go check that out. But there's a lot in the game to help you counter different play styles and to just set up the game to play how you want so that you can have fun. So don't think about what other people think you ought to do. Don't try and be as good as the guy who's playing 12 or 16 hours a day, uh, grinding the game. Find what you enjoy. Play with what you enjoy playing with on, as, on your guns, on your game modes. And then as you're playing, if you feel like there's something that's frustrating you or that you're not doing well at, just take a look at that and see if you can improve little by little until eventually you get better and better, right? And along those lines, and this is how everybody goes in games, you just play and you improve and you get better. I have a series of videos, if you haven't been around here before, called Wheezy's War College, where I try to take the essence of what helps you improve at shooters in general, not specific to Call of Duty, and apply those tactics and strategies to improve. So I'll put a link to either the playlist or one of the videos in my Wheezy's War College series at the end card of this video. And I encourage you to go and check that out. In general, even if you feel like you're really good at Modern Warfare 2 or, or shooters, go check it out. I think there's a lot of good value there. I'm gonna be adding to that series as I go. And it's not something like use the best weapon, 
here's you know the best game mode to go play you know here's the exact the way to move and here's how you take advantage of game mechanics no it's about general tactics and strategy strategies you can use in shooters to get better in general and to learn how to adapt and play with whatever weapons you enjoy most whatever play style you enjoy most how to take that and adapt it so that you can start to have more success. So go check that out. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave me a like. If you did not enjoy this, leave me a dislike. And if you're new around here, subscribe because there's all kinds of good stuff on this channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.